I'm Curtis Lakowitz, a clinical hematology and oncology fellow here at MD Anderson Cancer Center. I think as far as treatment options that we use for patients with relapse or refractory AML, there's a variety of different approaches that we can take. And one of the things the field is seeing more and more is the incorporation of using genetic information. So certain mutations in a patient's genes actually to help guide treatment and determine whether or not a patient will respond to a certain therapy. In the relapse and refractory setting, we are in need of, of newer effective therapies. Um, and there are several different approaches that can be taken and depends on, like I mentioned before, some of these gene mutations for the patient, but also what condition the patient's in, how healthy they are, if they're fit and they're strong and they're young, and we believe that there's a good chance that we can get them back into um, a remission or where we don't see AML in the bone marrow, then sometimes we'll use a what we consider a intensive regimen. So high doses of chemotherapy that we can hopefully eliminate AML from the bone marrow with. If the patient is an older or maybe is not as fit and we don't think they'll be able to take those high doses of chemotherapy, then for that patient, we may try uh, a less intensive approach. I think the misnomer, it's somewhat of a misnomer that we, we call these low intensity therapies when actually as we get smarter with our therapies and we combine um, targeted drugs, so drugs that target specific mutations or specific aspects of the leukemic, leukemic uh, cell cycle, that when we combine those with different agents, these are not quite as low intensity. They're actually very efficacious regimens. And, and so when thinking about the relapse and refractory patient and, and how we treat them, we really need to think about their whole picture. So how fit is the patient? What is the genetic makeup of their leukemia? And you know, it behooves us to look at that patient's history and really talk with them as well. What treatments have they had in the past? And was their leukemia responsive to those treatments? So incorporating these aspects into the patient's care are, are critical to improve outcomes in this patient population.